I'd, I'd tell the story, uh, the stories on here of of one Mr. Joseph here invites me to his house. Uh, mind you, I live two and a half, about two hours away. Get there, ring the doorbell, greeted by nobody. Ring the doorbell again, nobody. Call him. Hey, where you at? Oh, I, I went out. Uh, I'll, oh, you there? Oh, oh. Another time. Show up. He, he's sleeping. On an all-night binger of, of World of Warcraft. And then going to try to convince me to play this damn game. His eyes all red, hair all frazzled, looking like shit, coming out here. Hey man, I got that World of Warcraft one on. Oh God. What? That was when it first came out too. That was when it was vanilla. That you game was were... awesome. The, and you had to you had to walk like forty miles, and just to get to the next town, and you had to wait till you got to level forty to get your horse that went like ten miles per hour faster than walking. I swear, <laughs> because of where I teach, it's a bunch of computer nerds, and they all they're all playing League of Legends or World of Warcraft, right? And even when I was in the army, they would ask me. Man, why don't they ask? Why don't why don't you ever play WoW or League of Legends? And I swear to you, Joe, I tell them. I said, well, <laughs> I have this friend. Okay, it took him it took him from me for like six months, where I didn't hear a peep. And any time I'd go to his house, he was sleeping or not home, or like that drug dealer, you know, it was like, hey, man. Hey man, hey. What's up? Hey, you got a computer? You, <laughs> you like you like paladins, dog? Oh, for real? Yeah. I mean, that was. I tell. I'm like, dude, no. Yes. There's no part of this game that that is it. I remember going to in <laughs> Germany my my buddies who lived in the barracks going mm -hmm. to their to their barracks room mm -hmm. opening the door and a wave of piss ammonia from piss <laughs> hitting me oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you know and, you're, and then they're looking at you like what's wrong with you <laughs> right and you're like have you guys have you guys even left your room you're like no, nah, I mean, there's there's Chinese and pizza boxes stacked to the ceiling. What were they and doing? They had there was three of them. They they were having playing WoW. They had the <laughs> land set up and everything. And you know there's dip. Well, a couple of them dipped right. So there's dip bottles everywhere with their uh... spit, their tobacco spit. So I'm pretty sure some of them had pissed themselves or uh... were pissing into the bottles. So that's where the 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 stench, man. You know. Dude, I was not that bad. I don't know this because I, I didn't. I wasn't there's six. There's six months <laughs> that you were unaccounted for. I don't even remember. That's like a exactly. blackout period. Exactly. God knows what I did. The next, you know, I saw you. Then the, you know, and you were, you know, short hair, college student Joseph. And then the next time I see you, you're long hair, Jesus looking <laughs> Joseph. Come to my house wearing a wearing a robe. <laughs> Your Bible, something. So I don't know what happened when you were playing World of Warcraft, buddy. But damn, <laughs> the dangers of Warcraft. <laughs> I still have my subscription. Oh God, <laughs> I've never once played that game. I tried League of Legends. My again, the same guy that said he hated um, Force Awakens. He's a big League of Legends player. Mm -hmm. And he would come into work madder than hell, and Why? you know because he'd have a you know, a bad night at League of Legends. <laughs> and I, you know, well, what's wrong, man? Fuck, 
you know, I went down on rank in League of Legends last night. Mur, these stupid assholes. Mur. <laughs> hey, you want to play? Like, so the point of this story is World of Warcraft and League of Legends players are the worst drug dealers <laughs> or the best, right? It is addicting. It is addicting. He actually did get me to play. I played it for two days. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not a PC gamer, so the whole mouse and keyboard thing, I, I, way over my head. Yeah. I'm not coordinated enough. <laughs> and but I remember I never have played a game, League of Legends, where everyone is madder than hell before the game starts. Really? In the chat just you know, oh my god, in and all caps locked and <laughs> exclamations. I'm like, has some, am I missing something? Because I know I'm a noob. I'm I'm new to this. Like, what am I doing? I'm getting screamed at because I was I was going to take the top lane and apparently, you know, lives in my mom's basement. Nine nine nine, uh, always takes top lane. You know, so I don't know. It was. I deleted that game. Aww. Screw that game. Aww. But if I had money, let me tell you what I'd do. If I was a millionaire, mm-hmm. I'd invest in a League of Legends team. Why? Oh, dude. Haven't you heard? Esports, man. Mm-hmm. It's League of Legends is, is like the top esport. Mm. They're making money. Did you see the Warcraft movie? Was it, it, was it was it everything you'd hoped for? It was it was okay. It was decent. It you, was it you good if, if you're a gamer, if you're a World of, World of Warcraft gamer, then you saw a lot of, you know, easter eggs from the game in the movie that you could appreciate. The story it, it you know, it followed along with the the mythology of World of Warcraft that you don't you didn't see too much when playing the game, but you learn as you play. Or if you do a lot of the reading of the the novels and stuff, you get some of that. But the movie was, it was decent. It was pretty good. And I hope they make a second one. You know what movie I just watched last night? What? Assassin's Creed. What'd you think? Well, I'm biased because I've, I've played all the games. Mm-hmm. I love most of them. Um... Why do you say most? Because some of some of them aren't good. I yeah, I can't be a fanboy and say no, they're all good. Meh. <laughs> they're all they're not all good. Well, which ones suck? Which ones should I stay away from? <sighs> uh, Unity. So mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed Unity is the French Revolution. Yeah. Um, completely broken game. They rushed it out to, you know, make money and just not good. Um, Syndicate was okay. It's kind of a mail a mail in effort, but it does have the Jack the Ripper DLC, so that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, three is okay. It's on. Uh, it's during the uh, the American Revolution. It doesn't sound like you like any of them. Well, no, because then you talk about four, which is Black Flag, which introduces the the naval combat, which is fantastic. Hmm. Um, two is amazing. The first one is is good, but it's re- very repetitive. Mm-hmm. But um, Brotherhood was was good. Um, let's see. I just said Syndicate. They didn't come out with one last year. Um, so I mean, about half of them are pretty good. Okay. Um, and the movie? The, did it do the it? Movie, did it the do movie. The game justice. Well, so the movie is based not on any character from the games. It's just based off of the game. The idea that uh, um, centuries ago, there's been this war between the Templars and the Assassins, right? They want to bend. They want to take away freedom of choice, freedom, basically freedom, human, basic human freedom, mm-hmm. freedom to think, free will, that kind of thing. And, of course, the assassins are there to stop them. 
So in, in the present day, what they do, they've created this technology because no one knows where the apple of Eden is. So they've created, they've created this technology to try it to, and they track down ancestors of these assassins. Mm-hmm. And they plug them into the animus. It's kind of you know they they plug them into the animus and they and they re, they see their memories through the animus. And the unbeknownst to you, so in the first game, it's unbeknownst to you that you're actually helping the Templars out, mm. right? But in the movie, they make it clear that that these are the Templars, mm. and you know um, Michael Fassbender's character is helping them and he's just kind of like ah I don't care I just I just want to get out of here kind of thing and um, slowly but surely he goes against that that way he, he goes against the Templars so um, it, it was good it had some confusing moments um, some of the some of the dialogue was hard to hear hmm. um, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. It had some really good action scenes. There's a long, long chase scene, which was amazing, right out of the game. Because the game is known for you as a character being able to climb up, scale things, parkour moves, all that kind of stuff. And the, the movie nailed that perfectly. Okay. Very good. So it's worth I, a second watch? Yeah, I'd watch it again. I'd watch it again. It's it worth, was good. Worth buying, worth owning? Worth owning? I mean, I own it, but again, if I would say, um, I would say, unless you're a huge fan of the games like I am, you could probably, you could probably Netflix it or Redbox it. <laughs> I'd hate to tell somebody to spend twenty dollars on a Blu-ray and they hate, they absolutely hate it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Because I've, I've, uh, I've encountered people that said they. Uh, I, I met a guy. I worked with a guy who said he hated the Force Awakens. What? Yeah. Why? Why? Okay, I understand not liking it as much as you know the original trilogy, whatever. But oh, he, he hated it. Oh, he said it was trash. <laughs> Why? Because it was a retread of Episode Four. And. That's all he could say. I said, well, what about what else? I was like, yeah, they, they took elements of, of episode four for sure. But what else about the movie didn't you like? That's it. It's too much like episode four. I hate it. It was trash. Like, so you had no problem, no problems with the characters, no dialogue. Just the story was kind of similar. Right. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's uh, a—I <laughs> mean, you, you never know what somebody's gonna like or dislike. <laughs>